Okay, so we obviously can't see grip pressure, okay, yeah, yeah. but you can feel that in terms of how you're holding the golf club. Yeah. I think the key for me is it needs to be secure in the fingers that you have anyway, mm-hmm. but we don't want to be squeezing down with the thumbs. The second you squeeze with the thumbs, and if you think about it, you're squeezing on a circular object. Yeah. If you're squeezing down on a circular object, it could spin off anyway. Yeah. So the more pressure you put down, the more likely that club's going to spin off, and that's where you yeah. see grip. <clears throat> Gloves wearing in the thumb, where thumbs are just sort of sliding around, right, and then okay. getting that blister underneath that thumb on the right hand, obviously, yeah. and the grip itself getting a bit sort of indented in the top of the glove, the grip there, where people are squeezing down. Yeah. And again, the more grip pressure you have, the more tension your forearms, your shoulders, and everything going to be, it's not going to be easy to move. Yeah. And then if you've got any thought, which I think anyone if we're honest has been told at some point they're coughing, like keep their head down, haven't they? Yeah. So we've been told that from what day one in some ways, yeah, but yeah. unfortunately it's the worst thing we can try and do. If we look here now, as you can, this is your old thing. Again, the positive things wise, posture from looking down the line we saw was great anyway. Yeah. Head movement now is just absolutely and absolutely minimal. So this is all really, really good. Your back swing and your setup now when you're looser, ticks a lot of boxes. You're setting the goal club now in a good position. Okay, so from here nothing's different as we start swinging through the golf ball now okay there's your impact on that one as we come back down from that one impact from that minimal difference in those two there okay maybe a little bit more pushing off your right side but you'll see you start swinging through now your head now started to follow a bit more so your eyes sort of looking more down to this area yeah. where it's a similar sort of position here now that head still staying down yeah. okay as we start going through a couple more frames more the head's starting to go through we're starting to go through so it's yeah. looking a bit more functional now your right knee is nearer your left knee now your right side's moving off mm-hmm. to target yeah. you're getting more freedom through the golf ball and swinging through to a finished position now when you get through there it's nothing much different in terms of the position because your right side comes through as it does anyway, yeah. it's just a bit late. And yeah. if it hangs back, it, and we're talking half a second, less than that maybe, mm-hmm. it doesn't take a lot to be a lot offline yeah. in terms of your contact. You get a few toey ones, and then you start getting a few shots to the right, as mm-hmm. you said, drifting off to the right. And then sometimes when the ball starts sort of curving, if we're looking down the left, this is your target going down that way. If you have a couple of golf balls to start just drifting off to the right, maybe doing a couple more this way, instinctively now, consciously or not some ways, you'll start swinging the club this way which involves pulling your arms in yeah. which increases the toe contact again so yeah. you get the weaker shot you can go even further up yeah. okay <clears throat> so if the ball starts drifting off to the right they're getting a bit sort of pushy cutty fady that sort of thing with all clubs more often than not it's going to be that tension the grip pressure causing that limitation in terms of range of motion yeah. and just not really getting off your right side so much so rather than sort of swinging from here and kind of more that way into the golf ball this way kind of more yeah. this way and a bit stuck Right. So you'll get that cramped feeling, as you say, that sort of stuck feeling after yeah. impact. Yeah. Your arms sort of tucked up as you hit the golf ball. So, yeah. <clears throat> and you know, your best swings or your better swings that you'll make, they'll feel effortless in terms of the amount of energy you put into it. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ball will go further more often than not. Okay. They just feel smoother. They're yeah. not. They're not slower. Yeah. Invariably, they're actually quicker because everything's working better and more yeah. efficiently. We create more power and more yeah. speed. Okay. Yeah. So get that spine angle. That's great for me. Mm-hmm. Head position now, fantastic. It's yeah getting that transition now from the top down to impact. Okay. I think some of those toey ones sort of a slight reaction to the, maybe the change of posture yeah. and where your body was. Yeah. And now it's just a question of just sort of getting your arms back into impact to find the strike in the sweet spot. Yeah. Okay, mate, makes sense? Cool. Yeah. Good stuff.